today is Wednesday and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome Wednesday. Me personally, I'm feeling good. We just hit 1,000 subscribers. Yay! Just another 99,000 subscribers away from that 100,000 subscribers and that is when Red Live will be doing that much anticipated face reveal. Oh yes, people, I've not forgotten 100,000 subscribers. We doing that face reveal. Now in the meantime, I do have some red hot news for you today. The topics that we'll be discussing are on screen right now and the timestamps are in the description below. With that said, hello and welcome to Red Live. Our first topic, Naked DJ confirms that Lerato Khanyaho's boobs are 100% real. Look folks, out of nowhere this morning, the Naked DJ just posted on Twitter that I can confirm that they are 100% real. Next question, please. Now to give you guys some context, the Naked DJ was replying to a article that was posted by Zalebs and that article is titled Real vs is fake did these celebs get a boob job now the first celebrity that they name in that list is Kanyimbao they state there that in 2017 she spent about 95,000 rand on cosmetic surgery now amongst those things that she had done was to enhance her boobs now obviously that would make Kanyimbao's boobs fake yes moving on to the next celebrity on that list we've got Ayanda Tabete we talked about it yesterday now the article says that Ayanda Tabete set the record straight recently about whether her boobs were real or fake while clapping back at a tweet recently. The Twitter user claimed that Ayanda's boobs were courtesy of Silicon. Now Ayanda replied to that and wrote 100% natural. Please do get your facts straight next time before you speak with such conviction. So what do you guys think? Are they real or are they fake? Me, I'm gonna go with real. Next up on the list, they've got Zotwa Wabantu. Now we all know that Zotwa Wabantu is a very public person and she has come out and told us of the surgeries that she has had. She recently had her vagina tightened. Yes, uh, she did that she tightened her vagina now just before the Durban July she also did come out and say that she also had her breast done she said my boobs were starting to fall I had to do something about it and did a boob job now I don't know if having your boobs lifted does constitute as a boob job but yeah she done had some work done on her boobs so Zoto Abandu I suppose fake next up on the list they had Lerato Khanyaho now a couple of months back I did a story where Lerato Khanyaho came out and defended her boobs after some users were questioning whether or not she had work done. She replied to those that were questioning whether her boobs are real or not. She wrote, I'm giving them an opportunity to come touch and feel them. I will give them 50k cash immediately if they fake and if they're real, they must both deactivate their account. Now she was responding to a specific user on Twitter and said that basically they can come through, feel a breast and if they are fake, she will give them 50,000 rand cash. Personally, I remember at the time I said I wouldn't mind taking up that challenge. Heck, she could have deleted my account herself. Now like Naked DJ has said, he can 100% guarantee that Lerato Khanyaho's boobs are real. Now early this year around February, there was some news that Naked DJ and his wife have called it quits and around April and May, there were some rumors starting to brew up that Naked DJ and Lerato Khanyaho are dating. So obviously when Naked DJ said, I can confirm that they are 100% real, next question please. Our next question is exactly how can you confirm, have you touched them Naked? DJ go deeper go deeper anyways it seems like Lerato Khanyaho replied to Naked DJ's tweet and wrote friend hold up I was about to say ouch you know on the friend word but then I thought about it you know misdirection is a common thing obviously if they're not ready to be going public with their relationship they're gonna be going around claiming that they're friends so you know what whatever but yeah do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about naked dj confirming that lerato khanyaho's boobs are 100 real do you guys think that the two are dating you think that the naked dj has touched and felt the, the authenticity of her boobs our next topic trouble in paradise for kelly kumalo and chad the dawn now there have been many reports claiming that kelly kumalo and chad the dawn are dating and honestly going by those reports and going by those earlier pictures they honestly did make a very cute Couple. however it seems like the couple are starting that whole on and off relationship type of thing there have been reports that the couple have called it quits and then it seemed like they were back on again and reportedly i believe in april they got married now i saw this and uh, at the time i honestly thought that this was kind of a photo shoot for a music video however the reports were that the two got married and very recently both kelly kumalo and chad the don deleted pictures of each other off their instagram now we all know when you go to that trouble of deleting 
deleting every single picture of your ex on your social media account that is a serious breakup man because that is time consuming me personally if i post you on social media you best believe girl that we are not breaking up rather than wasting my time digging through my timeline i'd rather spend that time trying to fix this relationship is all i'm saying but yes it does seem that when you are deleting pictures on social media then that is a serious breakup now what has fueled those rumors that the two have broken up is that chad on the other hand shared a picture of him being cozy with the video vixen now according to the reports neither kelly kumala nor chad the don have addressed the rumors or made any official statement regarding whether or not they have broken up but yeah man do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about kelly kumalo and chad the don do you guys think that these two have broken up our next topic it is now illegal to display the apartheid flag in south africa look i don't know what to say about this i'll just read you the headline it reads as judge Phineas mujapilo will have his name remembered for a very long time in south africa he is the magistrate who handed down the momentous decision to outlaw the old apartheid flag from public display in the country some 25 years after the cruel regime was finally defeated i don't know what to say about this for me it's a one of those you know why has it taken 25 years why has it taken this long for this to be put into law or put into action however you want to call it now according to the reports the reason why this was in the courts in the first place was because of a black monday protest which happened in october of 2017 and the protesters during that protest had the old apartheid flag so the nelson mandela foundation as well as the sa human rights commission took action and took them to court and some two years later a decision has been made to outlaw the display of the apartheid flag at the end of the day i would say that you know what's a good decision but anyways do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about it being illegal to display the apartheid flag in south africa our next topic solo and dineo langa to produce a dstv wedding documentary now the queen actress dineo as well as rapper solo said their i do's in an intimate traditional ceremony in lancera now everything about their traditional ceremony was on the hush hush there was hardly any videos or pictures leaked of the two of them but it seems like those that want to take a peek into the wedding ceremony will be able to in september's issue of true love magazine dinero posted the following on twitter you asked for it and now it's here the wedding pictures and our story wrapped into one incredible at true love mag september issue a moment captured by at austin malema in stores tomorrow my husband at this is solo sa and i hope you enjoy it now according to the reports with regards to their white wedding they have partnered up with mzanzi magic to produce a three-part wedding documentary that will be titled wagu se wetu now it seems like the date for that has not been finalized as of yet but we definitely cannot wait for that documentary but yeah do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about solo and dineo langa producing a dstv wedding documentary because we definitely do love wedding documentaries here in south africa and just like that we have come to the end of today's red hot news if you enjoyed the video you know what to do by now give it a huge thumbs up share it with your family your friends and your enemies confuse the hell out of everybody and as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to red live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos